Welcome to Speed Dating with Learning Technologies. My name is R. Shiny, and I'm here to talk to you about new ways to present large data sets to your students. R. Shiny combines the computational power of R with interactive visual representations of your data. Before we get started, let me give you a little background about R. R is a programming language for statistical computing and graphics. R Shiny is an interface that allows your students to interact with the data and graphics without needing to understand how to program in R. I'm going to show you several examples of how you can use R Shiny to present data to your students in various formats. This first example is a simple table showing the data for a collection of 1,000 diamonds. The R Shiny interface allows the students to control what they're seeing on screen. The students can control which columns they would like to view, how many of the 1,000 entries they would like to see on screen, and R Shiny allows the students to search the data set. This next example shows two different graphic representations of the probability of a certain temperature in November in New York City. The students can use the slider at the bottom of the screen to change the temperature between 6 and 12 degrees and view the differences in the graphs above. This example shows the use of a drop-down menu to change the data shown on the graph. In this class, the students are asked to use different data sets to compare the fuel efficiency of different cars. This first graph shows the fuel efficiency of cars with four, six, and eight cylinders. The students can use the drop-down menu to change the data set being represented in the graph. The available data sets include the number of cylinders in the engine, the displacement of the engine, the horsepower of the engine, and the weight of the vehicle. This graph shows the fuel efficiency of various cars with horsepower ratings between 50 and 340 horsepower. This R Shining example is used in a meteorology class where the students are asked to look at temperature data between 1840 and 2020. At the top of the screen, the students are asked to select a data set from the drop down menu. At the bottom of the screen, the students use the drop down menus to establish the values for the X and Y axes. Students can choose up to three different data sets to plot on the screen, and they can choose the plot type, scatter plot, line plot, or a combination of line and scatter plot. The R Shiny application also allows the students to zoom in to a certain area of the data shown on the screen and look at the statistics for those points, the trend lines, and various information about regression models. This next example uses R Shiny in a geography course about epidemiology. The students use the sliders to change the parameters used to create random geographical patterns. A simple checkbox allows a student to change the view from a simple dot map to a density map. If your data set contains geographical coordinates, R Shiny can be used to plot that data on a map. This map shows a series of arson events in a fictitious town of St. Louis. And this map shows the Brexit vote in Scotland. This example is pulled directly from the R Shiny site. You can click on the image to access a gallery of excellent R Shiny examples. This image is actually half of a complicated R Shiny retirement simulator. The simulator is designed with two scenarios, each with identical sliders. The sliders can be used to set up two different retirement strategies, and the results can be compared after running the simulation. This next example uses R Shiny to gracefully navigate through nearly 700 images. The slider to the left allows the user to scan through a series of 176 images moving from the left to right side of the brain. The slider in the middle allows the user to slide through 256 images from the front to the back of the brain, and the slider to the right allows the user to pan through 256 images from the top to the bottom of the brain. 
This quick set of examples barely scratched the surface of what R-Shiny can do. If you're interested in using R-Shiny in your class, please contact the John A. Dutton eEducation Institute and we'd be happy to talk to you.